Sorry for the delay, but welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I know it's still snowing. <laughs> it's January 2 here in Alma. I, want, I, I was going to skip ahead. I've, as you've just seen, I've been picking up contracts. So what I've been doing in the brief interludes, when it's been a harvest contract, in the interludes between snow, I've been harvesting, because obviously you take a deficit if you harvest um, when it's raining and snow counts as rain. Um, so I've picked up a different couple of harvest contracts. Cultivating contracts I've been picking up. I've just picked up a corn contract, but I'm not going to do that until the snow stops. So until we come out of the snowy season, because our cornfield is also ready to harvest. So I want to wait until the snow's gone and we'll crack on with that. I have picked up a cultivating contract and I've picked up a plowing contract. So our money is, we're up to 500,000, which is brilliant because we're going to come out of the winter having done really well financially and we should then be able to start picking off the factories and bits and bobs we want to start buying up. Um, again, like I said, maybe buying a new tractor, that kind of thing. What I'm going to do is drop off the pumpkin first and then firewood price is pretty good. So I'm bringing the, this month's firewood delivery as well. So we'll get those bits sold, but I just wanted to show you as well the snow is just i mean absolutely it just keeps snowing and keeps snowing and it's getting deeper and deeper and i know when people messaged me and said oh you'll be amazed and i thought well you know edgewater i've said this before edgewater was bonkers um i really didn't appreciate just how much um we were going to get so yeah it's kind of impressive how are we going didn't take all of them why is that taking the rest of the pumpkin? I've come too far over. Maybe. There we go. Uh, propane has been delivered uh, today's and yesterday's I did. Because I forgot to do it yesterday. But yeah, I mean this is... Okay, why is that still flashing up? I'm not even in the vehicle anymore. See, because it's still there. Um, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, that's like... <laughs> it's cool! I'm loving it! Oh yeah, contracts. I was going to show you, wasn't I? Uh, if we go down to... Yeah, so we've got a cultivating contract. 55 grand. I bought the two cultivators. I'm going to crack on with that. The harvesting one, corn, and then we've got a ploughing one for 25 grand. There's a whole load of other stuff because they've got seasonal growth turned off. So I've got fields that are ready to be harvested and prepped and everything done. And we're in the middle of winter. Again, I, I, I'm going to say this again. I had, I had messages from people telling me that with FS22 you should only play it with seasonal growth on. It's interesting how everything changes, isn't it? Because on FS19, Seasons was a mod. Realism is modding. It was a mod. And 90% of the time, if not more, you played the game normally. There was no seasonal growth. It, it grew. And the growth cycles were quicker as well. So, you know, like I've said this so many times before, you could plant a crop and it'd be ready to harvest the following day, you know. And that was what we did. That was that was kind of the game. The um, Seasons mod by Realis Realismus Modding changed things, but that was an optional thing. You didn't have to run it. And the same when we, when we got FS22, you've got now the growth cycles are much longer. You don't have to run seasonal cycles if you don't want to. You've got the option to turn it on or off. But how everyone's view... Oh, they've still got some on there. View towards it has changed in that apparently now you have to run it. it you, you, you can't possibly do a let's play or a storyline or run a map with seasonal growth turned off because that's not right I, guess I don't i don't know i i know i get it in you know in reality harvesting crops in in snow yeah of course you wouldn't be and most maps i've ever played on <laughs> you always get that kind of thing oh you know i thought it would snow more i thought we'd get better snow you know it would snow it would settle and you'd be like oh that's cool and then within three or four hours the snow's gone or the following day, the snow's gone. It's really Edgewater and this map. These are the two maps that I've played on where the snow has come. It has snowed continually for months on end and the snow just hasn't cleared. It just hasn't gone. 
So it's an unusual set of circumstances that leads you to this point, I think. Um, what I'm hoping to do is I will see you, I mean, I was going to say I'll see you when the snow stopped, but according to our weather forecast, if we go up to our weather, oh, it's showing January 2, we've got some sun, but then we've got February 1 and 2, it's showing snow. The rest of the day, the snow should stop. So I could, no, I don't really want to be harvesting the corn in the snow. I want to do it, you know, say properly. Still minus 10. Um, and then, yeah, February 1 and February 2, it's still showing snow. But the problem is we've got March 1 and March 2 are showing rain. Um, so, again, we'll have to harvest in amongst the rain. But it will also mean we can start, like I say, getting some of our factories in. Um, I've got, of the contracts I have been doing, we have managed to get... Um, well, you saw the potato harvest. I've got 60,000 litres of sugar beet in the big railroad silo storage. That's in there. And um, what else did I harvest? Sorghum or soybean? Soybean. I've got some soybean in the silo. I'll show you all that back at the farm. Ah. Oh. It's not going to take this because of the snow. It did it before. Oh, I've just realised I'm going to put a fuel tank in, aren't I? I know I had problems with this before. Um, why are we not... Is it the snow that's causing it? It's now not taking the fireworks. weird okay I'll try and get that sold actually I can show you in here can't I if we go down to here and uh, yeah firewood in bulk 2473 the price is dropping that's for a thousand litres and I've got 10,000 litres on there so it's a nice bit of money um, well that's our manure and slurry situation at the cows which is pretty good so sugar beet and potatoes, that's in the railroad silo, 62,164. 35,000 litres of soybean we had left over from the soybean harvest. Sorghum, 53,000 litres. And the wheat we harvested right at the very start, 55. So, like I said, winter's been, it's been pretty good to us. We're doing all right. This is... <laughs> I haven't driven the, um, the trial vehicle that we got way back. I haven't... Because I, I got the one with the roll bar and no roof. And because it's just snowing constantly, and it's a little bit nippy to be going out off-roading, um, yeah, they'll probably end up taking it back off me before the, before the snow melts. But we'll see. I'll see you hopefully once the snow's melted. I'm going to pick up some more contracts. I'm going to get those that cultivating and the ploughing ones done. And um, so we should be knocking on 600,000 by the time that's done, unless any more pop up. In February, I mean, you know what I'm like for contracts? I need diesel in the John Deere, so I thought, you know what? I'll use the pickup. Why not? It's a pickup hitch. It w it'll work. So, um, I mean, it won't run any faster than the, the... I think the TLX... Was it the TLX 2022, was it? Um, pickup on FS... No. Oh. I'm trying to think now. Used to be able to pull stuff much faster. But I would, you know, at the end of the day, it's a vehicle. It's it's doing it. It's working. So I'll go with it. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I need to go to meetings. <laughs> Contractors Anonymous. That's what I need to go to. Um, we're into February. It's still snowing. It's deep, as you can see. Look, that's the, that's the lip of the snow. <laughs> um, we've got everything still going. Our pumpkin. And I've actually just switched over. Well, not switched over. Added into our collective consciousness. Um, 
this this episode is taking forever because of the time it's taking between what I'm recording. Um, but what we've got in here now, this had an update. This is now an auto load. It wasn't an auto load before. When you get to here, it takes the stuff in. But we've got a load of ice cream, an absolute ton of ice cream, which is brilliant. But I've put our little production on to doing butter as well now because I want to buy the bakery. Because we have got corn, a corn contract that will need to be done. And our corn harvest will be done once the snow stops. And I want to do cornbread. That was something I said right from the start. It reminds me of Aliens, the film Aliens. First time I ever heard of cornbread as a kid. I remember watching the film Aliens. And they're on the, the ship. And um, I'm sure it was cornbread they talked about. And I had no idea what it was. Um, anyway, that's that being said. The other thing that's changed as well. I don't know what happened. Um... Did this have an update since last time, or, or had it was after the update? Um, our straw is now on the floor. I have still got some cow's feet going through the floor, but our straw's not up here now. It's now down the floor, so that's all fine. Um, they've been fed. Um, I have also taken the liberty. I'm, hmm, I'm, I'm a little bit down. Down. Uh, not. I'm not a little bit down, but my financially from where I was, I went to do today's propane, and it cost me eight thousand to buy it. Went to unload it. And I think the corn dryer's full because it took about 700 litres and then stopped. So I've got eight grand's worth of propane tied up in the tank at the moment. So until that clears, I can't do a lot about it. I need to put the cultivator away. But what I have done is put in a fuel tank because I don't know if some of you noticed when I was doing the work before and I need the tractor now. Um, so we put this in here. I've put a thousand litres into it. I had to clear a little bit of snow to get it in properly. Um, what I am finding now is the snow's getting thicker and thicker. It's pushing pallets and things that are already on the ground all over the place. Um, the other thing I can do as well, which suddenly dawned on me, because I did that soybean harvest, and we've got in here now 55,000 litres of wheat, 53,000 litres of sorghum, and 35,000 litres of soybean. I can make soybean drink in my little factory thing over there as well, with just soybean and water. So doing that con contract actually worked out all right. But I have got a sowing contract to sow soybean. And <laughs> that's the field I had the, um, as you've just seen, um, I had the cultivating contract on. That took quite some time, but that was 55 grand that paid. It's a big old field. Sowing soybean, 81,000 that's going to pay for sowing soybean. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. So, first things first, let's fill up the old John Deere, shall we? Because I was getting a little bit low. It's going to need some maintenance as well. I dread to think how much that's going to cost. So I might... Um, do I want to do the maintenance? <laughs> I don't want to know. Is my toolbox covered in snow? That's the question. Uh, the problem I had with the firewood when I was selling that earlier, earlier well, the other day, I mean, it was... It was earlier for you guys, but it was the other day. Um, where did I put my toolbox? Oh, yeah, it's down there in the snow. Um, it was because the snow was so deep. It wasn't registering the cell point. <laughs> Which I had been warned about. So, uh, repair. 14,000. <sighs> Needs doing, I suppose. Okay, good as new. So what I need to do is put this away and grab the seeder out. We've got some seed there and I've got a bag of seed over at the store that I bought a while ago and that's just been sat up against the wall which I completely forgot about. I know it's still snowing but this is, again, I know I keep doing little updates. Um, the snow will stop at some point. I'm not sure when it will stop. I, I'm loving it because I'm because we're now into December and it's the 14th. That, well, I was recording this on the 12th, the 13th, the 14th. <laughs> um, thank you to um, to Alan who messaged me. Messaged me after I did my mod review the other day, and there was the big hog hog confinement, big hog shed, and I walked over it into it and said you could do 1,200 cows. It's because I've done two cow barns before that. Thank you for messing with <laughs> one of those. Now, this is only a six metre, so... Um, and I've got nothing in it. That's fantastic. Let's change that over to... Soybean. With no seat in it. How much is left in this bag? 
think these are pick up aren't they? Oh, two from them. Got a little bit. I'm gonna have to stop at the store. And I'm gonna get up to field 22 and uh, get cracking. <laughs> I can't help myself. I just want the money. Beacons on just in case of emergencies. Oh, crikey. I must have been looking around behind last time I got out of that. The snow. Oh, no, so like I say, we're in December and it's making me feel really Christmassy. Like I say, I've had other maps before that I've gone on and, and the snow goes so quickly, I've kind of lost that buzz, that feeling. Other maps I've been on when the snow's been around for a while and I get fed up with it. And, oh, you know, but I think because it's Christmas, I'm feeling, you know, festive. I'm thinking about. And it's going to depend on Mrs. Silly P, of course. Um, I want to do an episode. I want to set up an episode and do one with Mrs. Silly P. Where I've set it all up. And what I'll do is, when she's at work, I'll get everything set up and sorted so she's got all the mods installed without knowing she's got the mods installed. And do a multiplayer episode. Not on Alma, but not on this Let's Play, but on a separate. And do like a Christmas... Christmas adventure, a Christmas market. We can go out to, to pick our Christmas tree. Um, have a vehicle that she can go, you know, sidecar or, you know, I was thinking about the motorbike and sidecar, but in the snow, that's probably not so good. But picking a vehicle that I can have the passenger option in, that she can come with me, but have a Christmas market and snowmen and Christmas trees and you know, a real winter wonderland so I can take her out in the snow and let her experience that in game. I thought that would be quite cool. Um, that is going to, of course, depend upon. Um, what gets released because at the moment I'm snowed under <laughs> that wasn't intentional trust me um, with map tools mod reviews information things that have come out I've been trying to get a let's play up and done and this is taking me a long time to get to the next part um, so yeah I, but then I know at some point giants go on their Christmas holiday they have two weeks off and there'll be no mods so when that happens, I'll have more time to prep and set up, and I think that might, might be quite nice. I think that would be a, a real... Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think I think she would love it. And I think, oh, I, because of how I'm feeling on here, I want her to get that real festive Christmassy feel. And I think in a nice American town like this, there is a snowman. Well, there's a couple of snowmen to the side there that have appeared. Um, but there's one out here which gives you some indication of how deep the snow is <laughs> because the snowman, yeah there's another one that's on the road, look, just there um, that was a bit of a blur, but it's by the fire station but it's so deep you can't, I think you can just about see its head yeah look, over to the right, coming up you can just about see the top of the hydrant <laughs> anyway I know I keep saying it. I'll, I'll see you when the snow stopped. Maybe. Depends if something else happens. I'm like, I need to show them that. That's a cornfield. I've got a corn harvest on that. But that's going to have to wait. Whoa, snow. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll do that once the snow clears. Because I'll do all the corn in one go, I think. And then soup factory, and I want to do the bakery. That's why I'm building up all this money. I want to be able to just go on a big shopping spree, a splurge. I want to go factory mad. It'd be the super farm. Oh, I had an idea. Oh my. I need to slow down a bit. That's not safe. Let's go a little bit easier. There we go. Crikey. It's ten past eight in the morning. It's March 1. The snow has gone. Winter was a bonus, a boon. We did incredibly well. I've got a load of wood. Actually, I'm going to show you. I know I keep going around doing like, these updates, but I want to show you. It's time to have some more fun. Look how much wood we got through. That log pile was like... Uh, I've got a little bit more in there. How are we looking? 29.4, and I've got some around here that are good to go. Tucked away. Our corn is ready to go. We have got so much ice cream in our freezer compartment now that's good to go up to. Uh, look at all that. Sedalia. 
And we've got some butter. But now, I've got some stuff to buy. All of our... Look, our alfalfa's grown. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what happens when you've got growth turned on? It's <laughs> it makes a massive difference. We have got some contracts. We've got a corn harvest contract to do. We have got a baling contract to do. But I'm going to buy... I'm, I'm, this is spending spree time. This is going to be one of those... See how quickly you can spend 842000 and then have to do a load more contracts. We've got a ton of manure. We've got a ton of uh, slurry. We've got stuff all over the place. But for two days, because I had my tank tied up with propane, I haven't been able to sort the cows out. So, engine on. Look at the state of that pickup. That needs sorting out. I need to deliver the milk. 7,500 litres. Nice. Probably put the alfalfa a little bit too close there. There we go. Milk in. How are we looking on this? Okay. That's actually not bad at all, is it? 26,000 litres of strawberries. So if I put water and soybean in, we can do soy do soybean drink. And I've got more soybean. As you've seen, you probably just saw, this has been one of those episodes where every sort of five minutes there's been a, a page of contracts. Because during the winter, it was it was one of those situations. I people say, oh, you should have done videos. You should have gone live. You should, you know. Yeah, but the problem was, after like two, three episodes of the snow and it being quite dark and because it was snowing constantly, the lighting wasn't great. I had people mostly saying, I can't really see very much. I don't like it when you're doing videos in the snow and you know how long is the winter going to go on for and i agree it was a long winter so i was just trying to get out the other side but rather than skip ahead and miss out on all those juicy contracts that can earn me a load of money which they did so i did another soybean one again each time i had to wait until the um until the snow had stopped to do harvesting ones uh simply because um you lose product so we've got a whole load more in there so uh first things first super farm that's what we're working on i'm going to put in another silage clamp because when we do our own corn and i'm going to silage some and corn some we're going to do we're going to have a clamp for our grass silage and then we're going to have a maize clamp um so i'm going to put the maize clamp this side a smaller one thank you to hmg it's not something I'm particularly bothered about. It's something that I've, I've always just kind of dealt with. But this has got a clever little feature. So here, and then we're going to put the soup factory here. Then we're going to go into town. And we're going to buy the bakery. I'm going to get rid of my mowers, my baler, and the case tractor, I think. And then I'm going to get some of the ultimate mowing and baling pack. And I'm going to get probably the quick bale. I'm going to get a new... I'm going to get another John Deere. I've got two John Deeres already. I'm going to get a third John Deere. And I haven't used this particular one for a while. And I, I want to get something a bit more horsepower. Um, which isn't overly expensive. So that's the plan. So let's get these put in first. Local Polish company that have put this in for us. As you can see. Super farm. You got it. And over here silage clamp this should hold 500,000 litres and it's got this bit of the front here which has got this strip and it's got a, like a weather bit so what should happen is when you go to fill this up it won't go beyond that what I can do I suppose I should do it at the back as well really um, to stop it spilling out that's the point behind it it's got this little lip that stops it spilling out which you can drive through but then it won't anyway but we'll see how that goes um, but there are parts to this where I can put a solid block wall across the back and a ramp so we can fill from the back if we wanted to. But that's going to be for maize silage. So we've got our regular silage, maize silage. Um, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at. I need to go into town because we need to sort out getting... I think I'm going to have to buy the grain mill as well because I want to buy the bakery to do cornbread. We'll have corn, but we'll need corn flour. And we need butter, I think. That's it. We'll find out when we go and buy it. I'm um, going to take those bits of equipment into town. And what I'll do, we'll, we'll, by the end of this episode, we'll be starting on our corn harvest. Or should I go into the... I've got a corn harvest contract. Actually, we'll do that because we might have corn left over from that. I honestly cannot go... I do it every single time. I don't know why I'm surprised how much the farm has changed since we got here. We'll get our firewood. We've got our, our chiller building 
here with our ice cream in it. We've got a pile of there making ice cream and butter and stuff like that. We've now got a soup factory. We've got two silage clamps. We've got four greenhouses. We've got, you know, it's all going on. I'm, I'm buzzing because now the snow's gone and I feel we can, I can rule, I can, there's got all these things to do now. All this cool stuff I want to crack on with. Yes. So, next. Just trying to think, should I take the firewood and stuff? No, I'll do that off camera. Well, I'll take that to sell off camera. I'm so glad the alfalfa grew. Right, so, uh, where are we? Case. Case isn't going to be worth a huge amount. I put the front mower on that. We'll grab the baler. So what, those two cultivators, whoa. They more than paid for themselves over the winter. And we'll have more cultivators, because as we're going through our cycles now, because everything's growing, <laughs> everything's growing and ready to harvest, and then, you know, everything's doing what it should be doing. We're going to get more cultivating and ploughing jobs. And this on this one, I've had more ploughing contracts on here than I have on any other map in ages, which is brilliant. I'm, I'm not, not knocking it at all. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got, oh, is it what, a fertilising job? What else have I got? We've got a corn contract, a baling contract, and a fertilising contract we've got to do. The fertilising one, um, I've been leasing a fertiliser spreader. Did I? No. Did I buy one? I don't think I did. I think I just leased one. We've got a load of fertilizers out there because every time I've done a fertilizing job, I've bought more fertilizer, which I didn't need to do. I had a weird thing with my pickup. I don't know what happened. I put the bags of seed in the back when I did that sewing contract up on field 22. Um, and I drove it back to the farm, went to do another contract. When I came back, the back of the pickup had these weird wooden square boxes. Now that pickup. That's not an auto load or anything like that. They weren't like in-game pallets. They weren't bags. It was really strange, but it was still showing that I had 2,600 litres of seed. When I unloaded it, it unloaded it as regular pallets. Very odd. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But anyway, let's sell these. Let's pick up some new bits. And when we're in the town, let's buy the bakery. And once I got the bakery, I'm sure it's corn flour I need, in which case I need the grain meal. Um, I'm not buying the corn dryer because, well, I say that, I'm not buying the corn dryer because that's where we can sell our propane. That being said, actually, I'm just thinking now, have I got enough money to buy everything? We're going to be short, well, I'm close anyway. Um, I think I've filled it up. <laughs> we've, we've hit capacity on the propane, so for the next few months, maybe. I'm not going to be able to sell anything there because every time I go to put anything in there, it takes like 500 litres and it says it's full. So, yeah, I don't really want to time a tank up. But again, with that, we made, each time we did a full load, we made six grand. So every day we went and did a load, we did all right. It helped us tick over until the, the big money contracts came in. I've done it again. I've come around the back. I need to be around the front to get released, don't I? I've no idea what I'm going to get for them, but I will definitely get more by selling them up here. I think I am going to have to put a rear plate on the back of that silage clamp, actually. Oh, it's so much different without the snow. There was me just saying earlier on in the episode how festive I was feeling, and uh, it's all gone. Right. So, what will we get for this? 10,058. Let's sell that. That one's 61, that's pretty good, because I'm pretty sure the one we're going to buy is only 60 grand. Assuming I've got it installed, of course. 84. Ooh. Oh, bakery next door. I'm sure this is only 60 grand. We are investing in the community. 60 grand. We've got materials missing, of course we have. Oh yeah, we've got all these things. Mind you, I need, I need loads of stuff. This one needs corn flour, butter, and sugar. We don't have any sugar. Um, I suppose we could buy sugar if we wanted to. Apple pie requires tons of stuff. Pumpkin pie requires tons of stuff, but that would be quite cool. But the cornbread, yeah, just corn flour and butter. So we need corn flour, which means we're going to need, I'm sure this one's going to be a little bit more expensive. Cross the way. I'm not sure where I'm so, so that's the corn dryer. 
I suppose we could... Mm, no, 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 no. Let's just go for what I was intending to. Um, where is that? Oh, is it by the door here? Nope. Not sure where we, where we purchased this one. Oh, there we go. 96. Cornflour. Fine cornflour. That requires dried corn, though. So we can get our cornflour done here. And all the other bits we can do as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So it means we can get flour on the go. So I can get some... We have got wheat. I can bring the wheat up here. So if we are going to do more stuff at the bakery... And this is what I intended right from the outset. I said about doing some of these fantastic productions that are in the town. Right. Vehicles and machinery. Then I'm going to get the harvester out. We'll get cracking on that corn harvest. The contract we've got. I'm looking forward to doing some silaging. Some um, corn so more maize silaging. I haven't done that for quite some time. Forage corn, whatever you refer to it as. So... We want that and... Actually, these might be quite expensive. Because everything's moved. Right, mowers. So, all that. But do I want it... Oh, we can change the colour completely on this, can't we? Stainless steel, that's quite nice. Galvanised? I'm going to go galvanised. Right, you don't need to see me doing all this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the rear mower um, with an attachment. I need to get a tedder so we can do hay bales and the baler so we can do silage bales. And we should be absolutely golden then. No, that's a bit much. Let's go and check out our hall, shall we? It was worth those... I mean, literally, hours and hours and hours. And, I, and I've said this before, I was loving it. I know I haven't put out a Let's Play for a week now. It's been, yeah, it's been a week today. Um, no, yesterday. Um, we're going away at the weekend with Silly P and then mods and maps and information videos and, you know, various different things. And obviously we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. So we've got the front and rear mower. That one, win rose if I want it to. That one has also got a rear hitch which can attach the quick bale. The quick bale was 60 grand. So that will bale and wrap if I want it to, or just bale. So that combination, mowing, baling, wrapping. If I take it to my toolbox, I can put a three point on the back of that, which means I can then run that. So I've got a tedder, so I can win row and ted. So that's my baling package, done. Then we've got this. 47.55, deary me. <laughs> Haven't gone bongs on this one. I used, I had one of these on a year ago. Silver run. Blimey, has it been a year? It has on silver run. And um, before that, Western Wilds. Did I have one of these? I think. Oh, I love them. Prepared by ridiculous Dominic. Well, that's interesting because that's saying oh yeah 46 miles now it will do 46 there is the one I, I use on my test maps and stuff that does um, 93 or something miles an hour but this has got quite high horsepower I think as well so I've got the three John Deere's now oh that's um, that's quite a big old mower on there and then hopefully that will hook up to that and I can get the whole lot back together um, it's supposed to and normally it hooks up I've never had a problem with that hooking up before why is that now not huh? well that's something of a problem I've worked out what the problem is um, I've actually now switched it over to a three point so I can take back the tether it doesn't matter what I put on the back of that whether I put a three point a low pin hitch, high pin hitch, low ball hitch, high ball hitch, whatever I put on there, it swaps it over on here, so it's showing as a pin hitch or a ball hitch or a three point. But from the internal controls here, when it says selected work mode, it's only scrolling through three point. 
it's not saying it's got a pin hitch on it so when I'm reversing up to the baler it's registering that it's got a three point on there even though it's showing as a ball hitch I know at the moment I've got a three point on there I've only done that so I can take this back um, because that one will hook up but the other thing won't how bizarre <clears throat> the other thing I've realised as well remember realised remembered I've got all my potato and sugar beet up here because um, I did another sugar beet harvest as well and what I was doing with those as well because the contracts were showing um, I was leasing other bits of equipment to do those rather than borrowing equipment it worked out a little bit cheaper in the long run especially if you had two or three contracts of the same of a, a similar sort um, that was all factored into the, the finances don't worry about it it's all good so what I was doing was like every third fourth contract a biggie that I picked up um, that paid for leasing whatever it was I was leasing but I need to go and get potatoes I just put the soup factory in and we can do potato soup straight away our carrots are also ready to harvest so we've got alfalfa ready to go carrots ready to go corn ready to go so corn and and uh, forage maize we're going to be doing um, so yeah like I said loads loads going on I was thinking about maybe another I, I thought I was going to spend way more than that um, so potentially do I need to get a new trailer a bigger trailer I, I'm doing what I always do I've spent all this time building everything up and like I do when I do all my prep work because now we're out of the winter I can now start storing up all the stuff again for, for um, I mean to be fair we got through the winter no problem at all with total mixed ration um, I got down to my last bale of silage and I haven't even started on the clamp yet and we did the clamp last year so we'll have tons of silage but I want to try and get a load of hay done now I, I got in trouble last time because my alfalfa fields I could go straight into those alfalfa fields now with this mowing setup I could mow and ted and I've got hay but I got in trouble last time people saying that you don't just mow alfalfa fields that gets swathed now it may well be that in most places where you are it does I know for a fact watching Cole the Corn Star that Cole's brother Cooper does baling and does hay and stuff they mow theirs they mow their alfalfa they don't swath it they mow it now I'm not saying it doesn't happen of course it does it you know it gets swathed in various different places but they definitely mow theirs and then bale it so I could do I might do I haven't really decided so oh I've got that rear mower to get rid of as well all John Deere's that's cool right so I'm going to grab a trailer I'm going to go up to the store we're going to not the store the, the silo the storage silo oh I get rid of the tether as well can't I just bought a tether oh I did have a bit of a bimble around in the snow with this it's a great bit of kit and it's nice having it on trial and having it to drive around and have a bit of a giggling but I haven't really, because I've been doing so much work I haven't really had much chance to use it in all honesty let's move that out of the way so I'm going to go and get the potatoes let's at least get that potato factory up and running because we've just put it in <laughs> and that's the whole point of the super farm uh, that needs to come out that needs to come out Oh, hang on, we don't need a wind rower either, do we? Ha ha ha, because this will do it for us. Unless, of course, we do straw. Well, no, because straw would be left behind after a harvester. So we'll just run over it with the baler. All three of those can go. Right. That's what I'll do. Got a little bit of... Um, just a point have I got enough because I'm sure oh it's in the baler isn't it um, I've got a little bit of additive left there 40 litres that's not enough I need to buy some more additive as well right let's get that, that. yeah so we'll um get the potatoes in get some soup underway and then I'll get out and start on that corn harvest and then uh, I told you the snow would stop at some point just get that in the way
It just it didn't even dawn on me that it would be able to replace all of that. Something cool just happened. I went on to the online store and thought, oh, you know what? I haven't checked. <laughs> haven't checked the vehicles for sale. <laughs> Look! They've got an X9! 48% off. I can trade that off against, I mean, the case. We've done a bit of harvesting through the winter. We've put some hours on that. <laughs> Some of and I'm doing that kind of spend, 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 but that deal might disappear, and that's a fantastic deal. And then that's moving us all over more to a full John Deere. I was going to go the other way, I was going to go get rid of the John Deeres and go all case, but you know what? I think I've done that before. US spec, why does that add five grand on? That's outrageous. Uh, pipe design one, design two, doesn't add anything on, does it? That's a little bit on there, doesn't it? <laughs> Shall I? Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm going to need a header, aren't I? Oh, okay, that's all right. right. So what we'll do, we'll take the case back as well <laughs> with the header. We'll get a, a, we'll get a corn header first of all, because we've got corn to do first. Um, oh, I can get rid of the corn header as well, can't I? And then we can take that up. I didn't even look to see what hours were on that. And we'll start on the corn harvest now. I need to get those potatoes back. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Can you tell? We will get to the potatoes in a moment and the corn, don't worry. Um, I got a great demand for firewood. Um, so I thought, you know what? Let's bring it up, let's offload it. Now all the snow's gone, we shouldn't have a problem with the cell point. That being said, I have got the firewood on top of the pumpkin. Which probably isn't the best idea, but anyway. Uh, so we've got 16,000 litres of firewood. 10,000 litres of pumpkin. Um, the firewood price... Uh, great demand is at 2,500 and something like that. Um, so we should do all right out of this. I reckon 30, 35 grand, 30, something like that. We're about to find out. Like I say, it should work better now. If it doesn't, I might have to go and do the pumpkin first. I don't know if it will. We've had we've had fun here, haven't we? We've had all sorts of laughs and jolly japes bringing stuff here. Um, but this should. Now the snow's gone, be absolutely perfect. And then I'll go into the rest of the stuff. But financially, having sold everything we did, having bought the New Holland, uh, New Holland, uh, the John Deere Harvester, and a header, once this is sold, we're not going to be far off where we were before we bought the John Deere Harvester. So all that new equipment, this is a result. 
Cha-ching! 40 grand? Have some of that, son. How do you like them pumpkins? Right. I'm going to take the pumpkins. We'll sell those. Uh, and then I will see you... Uh, yeah, potatoes. We'll get, we'll get the potatoes in. I've, I've got, obviously, sure, 160 odd thousand that is. Because we did um, various different contracts over the winter. We had potato harvesting we did just before. And did a few sugar beet harvests. I'm thinking about getting a sugar beet harvester. Or maybe one that does all the root crops or one that I can buy different headers for. I'm considering my options because we haven't done cotton yet and I'm thinking with some of the, the advances in technology, let's just say that, we do have a few options available to us and we have got the money that we could buy them. Potentially. Oh, it's all very exciting, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. Got a load more to bring, so that's all good. Let's get that tipping in. We want potato soup. Off and running. Yes, it's a three to one. You do lose a bit. I think I was originally going to do the um, preserves because the preserves is a better ratio, a better recipe, and they pay out quite well. These pay out quite well, but you're yeah, you're losing a fair amount in the process. Um, but we've got a lot of potatoes. The yield is high. They didn't cost us anything to do. They byproducts of say byproducts left over from contracts. Um, Unfortunately, I can't do sugar beet here. Although, hang on a minute, we need sugar, don't we? I've got a load of sugar beet left over, so we could get some sugar going. I'll have to think about that. That might be something further down the line. Anyway, I need to get up to the field, and we'll make a start on this corn harvest, and that's where, we're, where I'll end, because then we've got to come back using our new harvester, and we'll do our own. And then I'm going to lease a silage harvester. Yeah. Beacon off. I'll get some more potato in there. Here we go. Here's the field. Let's give our new harvester a bit of a run out. This has got 16 hours on it. But I don't care. Because <laughs> we got ourselves next nine. Disconnect trailer. The bit I always forget to do. I always start harvesting and go, oh, I forgot to do that. So we are going to need at some point to buy a, um, a normal header. But we're all right financially. And this pays out 30-something grand. I mean, the contracts I've got to do... Yeah, that bailing contract. That's what I've, I bought that stuff. That stuff's going to pay for itself over the over these months. No problem because there's a whole load of bailing contracts. Look, that so that all that mowing and bailing stuff. Even if I can't hook up that quick bale to the back, which I always had been able to before, so I'm not sure why. Fertilizing job. I've got a load of fertilizer. Oh, I need to buy a fertilizer spreader. Um, so this one here, thirty-three grand, is going to pay. So, I mean, that's a big chunk towards a new header. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm thinking about buying a beet harvester. Because of all the, the newfangled ones that are out there, because we've got carrots to do as well, I'm thinking of getting an all crop, like a root crop harvester, beet harvester. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to give that some thought, because there's, there's, we've got some options. <laughs> and it goes at 10 miles an hour so I was going to say so we'll make light work of this uh, <laughs> not not light work of it but you know I think let's see where this has got to go to uh, oh just to the grain sale point nothing amazing I did wonder if it was going to go to the corn dryer or something like that but nope because if it was that's one of those ones of deliver it all to the corn dryer then buy the corn dryer you know 
It's a little bit dodgy, but because I've been delivering propane there, so it should be full of, full of propane as well. So I think anything left over from this we'll take to the grain mill. I've got wheat in my silo, we can take that. I've got the sorghum, not the sorghum, I have got, I've got some sorghum. And um, we've got the soybeans, so with soybean and water we can do some soybean drink. We got, yeah. Oh! I think we're going to be doing a few loads on this, aren't we? I'm so pleased, so happy with my purchase. Sometimes things just fall into place, don't they? Just clunk, 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 clunk. All just... Mwah. Don't get me started on that. Do not get me started on that. <laughs> rant time. Before I finish, I'll finish on a rant. How does that sound? Do you know when you do that? Mwah. You know the action that goes with that? It's self-explanatory, isn't it? It's self-explanatory. You do that, mwah. Why have people started doing that and then saying chef's kiss? You know it's a chef's kiss. That's the point. You do it. You don't need to say it's just chef's kiss. You don't, you know. If you didn't do the action and then just went chef's kiss, then people think, oh, okay, so he meant to do the action. He said chef's kiss. I don't understand why I do both. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I'd ever get to the end of this episode. It, this is, like I say, this has taken me days and days and days and through the winter and I've loved it. I've done contracts, I've had audio books on, I've listened to music, I've been playing the game, I've, I've just been, yeah, sort of re-engaging myself with it, you know? I know it doesn't help you guys because you've been waiting over a week for, for a Let's Play and I've had people message me saying, you know, I've been, I said, look, I've been doing other content, but people say, yeah, but I don't watch your mod reviews, I don't watch your map tours, I watch your Let's Plays, and I apologise for those people that just watch the Let's, Let, Let's Plays, um, I do apologise, but uh, I was also messaging, someone said, look, you know, if you're struggling a little bit, I, talk, I talked about, I was watching a video, someone said about burnout and, and doing what they're doing, and, and people said, you know, messaged me, and they were lovely about it, and said, look, you know, just play, play for yourself, just, you know, play, or go and play something else, or, you know, to get your passion back for it, that feeling back for it. Um, you know, you should, I shouldn't feel that I'm making videos because I have to. I should be making videos because I want to. And I do, all the time. You know, I, I love making videos. I love doing what I do. Um, so apologies for the delay. Anyway, that's it for this episode. We have got so much more to come here on Elmer. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have... Please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Don't forget, we still have the Mr. Silly P Christmas Limited Edition design shirt, t-shirt and hoodie options in the merch store. So if you want to get one, that's only going to be going through December and maybe the start of January and then that will disappear again, like the last one did last year. So if you want to pick up a limited edition one. Um, but whatever you should choose to do on that list of options, thanks for watching. <laughs>